Now, most people prefer having sex under the moon, but how would you like to have sex under the sun? My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze Under Rocks. We're going to make a cocktail called Sex Under the Sun. Yeah, you heard me. Sex Under the Sun. <laughs> anyway, oh shit, that sounded so bad. Anyways, having said that, <laughs> I, I can't do this with a straight face, I'm sorry. But this is an interesting cocktail. Co Are you okay back there? <laughs> okay, anyways, while, my, while the person behind the camera dies, uh, where was I going with this? Yes, yeah, so this is a simple and easy cocktail with five ingredients. But before we get into it, let's talk about our first spirit, which is Florida Cana five-year-old rum. It's 40% alcohol by volume, and it's produced in San Cristobal, Nicaragua. Our second spirit is Lamb's White Rum, which is a combination of Caribbean rims, and it's 40% alcohol by volume, and it's bottled in Ontario, Canada. Now, I did say that this was a five-ingredient cocktail, and the ratios are really, really simple, and it's a shaken cocktail. So grab your shaking glass, trying not to smash it all over everything and then go with your first spirit which is the florida Kanye five-year-old rum now you can choose whatever dark rum that you want but you're going to start with one ounce or 30 mils now your second ingredient is the white rum of your choice in this case i'm using lambs uh, Whatever rum that you choose to use to split your base with, you're going to get different interesting flavors. Now, it is going to mix with some juices, so you have to think about what kind of flavors that you want to come out. Or you know what? Try them all. Leave a comment down below and tell me exactly what you think was the best combination of flavors. But we're going to use the same amount of one ounce or 30 mils. Next, we're going to start with our fruit juices. And for that, we're going to start with a little bit of orange juice. I'm using a pulp-free orange juice, or as close to pulp-free as you're going to get unless you actually squeeze it and strain it yourself. But we're gonna start with one ounce or 30 mils. So your next fruit juice is pineapple juice. And I'm using a pure-pressed pineapple juice, again, this is my favorite kind because there's no extra sugar added. Uh, if you find it's not sweet enough for you, you'll be able to make an adjustment with the grenadine. But we're gonna start with, we're not gonna start with, we're already making it. So we're gonna use one ounce or 30 mils. Now this is so far very, very yellow, but we're going to leave that right there. Uh, <laughs> Having said that, now we're gonna make it a little bit red, but we don't need a lot of this. What we actually need is a third of an ounce or 10 mils. And this is where you can adjust the sweetness after you've tried it a little bit by adding a little bit more. You can't add less, but you can always start small and add more to reach that desired level that you want. And as I was saying, this is a third of an ounce or 10 mils. Look at that, it's almost a reverse sunrise. It actually looks really good. Too bad it's not full of ice. However, we are going to shake this now. And the pineapple juice will give us a little bit of foam. So we'll shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. You just wanna make sure that your glass is full of ice. And then slap this on here. Make sure you have a really good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand, uh, whatever, citrus juices or something. And what we will do is we will serve this in an up style in a nice tall Collins glass. You want a glass that's about 10, 11 ounces. This is an 11 ounce glass. And what we'll do is we will just fill this with a little bit of ice, like so, uh, very, very slowly. Uh, and <laughs> I've run out of things to say, as you can you can tell. However, it's gonna look really good. And you don't need to fine strain this, you can if you want. However, I'm just going to use my Hawthorne strainer to keep out the old ice and we'll pour it in like so. Oh, look at that color, fantastic. Now we're just going to add a little bit of a lime wedge here and you can use, well, it just fell in, never mind. Uh, you can use this to adjust your flavors and give you a little bit more tartness if you want. Let's try it out. Mmm, that is really good. You have your orange juice, your pineapple juice well meshed together. Your rums are there, it's center and present, but it's not overpowering. And you get the pomegranate from the grenadine. Absolutely fantastic. Is this better than Sex Under the Sun? Absolutely not. But if you like any of the other sex themes cocktails, come take a look right here and I know there's something you'll love.